With hits both sides of the Atlantic and sellout concerts across Europe, Emmy Lou Harris is at the top of her profession. But time for the 35-year-old superstar is at a premium. So why come to Ireland just to promote a record? Well, uh, an excuse to come over here. Uh, I love it over here, and the uh, uh, record is a, as good an excuse as any. This is about your fifth time over here, is it? Yeah, unfortunately we're not playing. You know, I don't have the band over. Maybe we can drum up some interest, get a show over here for next year, because I'd love to come over and play. It might come as a surprise to uh, some of your fans that you're a great fan of Irish traditional music. Oh, yes, I am. I, I know, I'm never without a Chieftain's tape, or I know they're no longer together with the Bati band. Uh, Planksty's another group I like. I, I'm just, you know, I've only been into it a, a few years, and I've not I've been over here enough to, to see anybody live or to get into it as deeply as I'd like to, but I have plans to immerse myself in it, because I really do love it. You're very much in the mainstream of country and western singing, what would you say to people who say that it's uh, a conservative form of music which, has, uh, which makes no progress? Well, uh, I, w I don't agree with them really. I, I think that it, it's the tradition in the music as opposed to it being conservative. I think it's, in fact, one of the problems of country music for a while, I think, was people were forgetting the tradition and the roots of it and uh, calling it country and, and it really didn't have much meat to it. Um, but I think now that there's a, a progression to it that's carrying the tradition with it, I think uh, artists like Roseanne Cash and Rodney Crowell, Ricky Skaggs, uh, John Anderson, uh, there, there's really a lot. Uh, of course, Willie Nelson, oh, what can I say about that? <laughs> He's wonderful. Uh, but I, I mean mainly the newer artists. Um, I think that there's really some good things happening in country music now. I was, I was worried for a while, but... Uh, now I can turn on the radio and, and really hear some good stuff. It's over, I'll The album that you're over here to remote is called Last Date. Mm -hmm. Any significance in the name? No, no significance. Uh, we, it just sounded like a good album title, and uh, uh, Last Date, as, as in Last Day of the Tour, because we did it as a live album on stage, and so it was a very small tour that we did. So once the, the tour was completed, in a sense, the album was completed because we recorded everything live. So I figured somebody would think maybe some heavy significance to it because it does sound like that, but no, it's a... Uh, it just means uh, it's time to move on. So all the countrywide viewers a very Merry Christmas. I won't be out here for Christmas, but I hope I'll be back next year to do a show and see all of you.